In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create and edit actions which are stored animations which can be reused to make longer animations and used in games. Open the spot file. Change the layout from default to animation. And the animation layout has lots of windows. This is a graph editor window. I won't be using it, so I'm dragging on the diagonal lines from the window above to get rid of it. Change shading to texture and the view from perspective to orthogonal and the view to the right view. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Drag on the boundary between the two windows. This window is a dope sheet window. By default, it's in dope sheet mode. I'm going to change that to action editor mode. I'm going to click the plus to create a new action, and I'm going to call the new action Warp. If we look at dope sheet mode, this is where you manipulate keyframes to edit an animation. The main difference between it and action editor mode is the addition of a data block control, which allows you to save animations, and those saved animations are called actions. Drag on the boundary between the two windows. Select the armature and the walk action has gone. Click this button. Now if I select the walk action with the armature selected, they will be linked. This number two means that the action is linked to two objects. If I select the head, now the head was selected when I created the action. I'm going to click unlink data block. I don't want the action to be linked to the head. Now the action is only linked to the armature. Zoom in. Select the near leg, press G to grab and move that forward. Select the far leg, press G to grab and move that back. Hold down shift and select both legs. Widen this a bit more. Click the plus to open up the tool shelf. Click the insert keyframes button. Insert location rotation keyframe. Set the total length of the animation to 20 frames. Go to the last frame and insert keyframes, location, rotation. Pan, hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. In the pose menu, copy the pose. Go to frame 10. In the pose menu, paste X flipped. And don't forget to insert keyframes, location, rotation. Press play. And we have a very simple walk cycle. I want to add a new action, so I'm going to click the plus button, create new action, and I'm going to name the new action Run. Now if I click the Browse Actions button, if we look at the walk action, it now has a zero next to it, which means it's not linked to any object. The armature is now linked to the Run action. Now that is a problem because when you save, any actions not linked to an object will not be saved. So how do we fix that? Well, if I bring the walk back and click this button, save this data block even if it has no users, the walk is now linked to a false object, a system object that is always there. If I bring the run back, unless for some reason you don't want to save an action, always press this F button to save the data block. In the dope sheet, we can manipulate the keyframes. I can select a keyframe, press G to grab, and move it up and down the timeline. I can press B on the keyboard for B select, select a group of keyframes, press S to scale, make the animation longer or shorter. I can enter a numeric value for scale, 0.5, and enter. And I can fine tune the position of the keyframes, G to grab, I'm going to set the total length of the animation to be 10 frames, press play, and we have a very simple run cycle. Add another action, click the plus button to create the new action. Name the action standing still. Don't forget to click the F button. In the dope sheet, press A twice to select all and delete or X to delete all the keyframes. Now watch as the mouse goes into the 3D view. 
the empty action is deselected so I have to select it again now I'm going to press A twice to select all the bones in the pose menu clear transform all insert keyframes location rotation can we import actions stored in other files yes we can if I go to a file that's got a different action in it this file has got a wave action in it how can we import that action well, the answer is file append go to the folder that contains the file select the file go into the action folder select the action that you want to import and link append in the actions browser we now have the new action select that and if I just make this window bigger the wave action runs over 40 frames I'm going to change the view to the front view zoom back with the mouse wheel and press play and we have our wave action that's the end of the tutorial you can download the start file and the end file from my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. In the next tutorial I'll show you how to import a figure so that you can have several QBCraft figures in the same file. Thanks for watching and goodbye.